Hey guys, today I'm going to show you something a bit different. Um, recently I watched uh, the stream from Kilohertz, and in that stream there was a person who asked for a standalone version of Faceplant, because sometimes you get an idea and you want to quickly um, open up the synth without actually starting up your DAW, right? I know myself doing that a lot with Vital, for example, which comes as a standalone version. A standalone version means that you open it up as an executable file directly, so you run it as a separate program and uh, compared to opening up the actual .dll plugin, which needs some kind of host, such as uh, a DAW, for example. However, um, I stumbled upon this thing called Nanohost from a company called Tone2, I believe. And they state that you can turn any plugin into a standalone version. And I was quite intrigued by this method because I myself like working in standalone programs sometimes when I want to test something out. I don't want to load up Ableton and wait for all my plugins to load and everything. So I tried it out and it works surprisingly well, actually. Um, looks like this. So it's going to navigate to your standard path for plugins, but I have one my things over here. So if we go in here and let's say we want to open up Faceplant for the sake of it. Boom! Got my Faceplant right here. And if we go to config, you can set the BPM over here. Let's put it at 149. Um, I need to check my audio and it's going to choose, you can choose different um, sound cards over here. So I have my interface right here. Then we have the MIDI in settings, and I have like a little keyboard, but you can choose anything here actually. Um, the only thing that I'm missing from this is having my keyboard, like my typeable keyboard as a MIDI, MIDI input. Um, I haven't gotten that to work, but we can load, you know, like it's playable, right? I can even go in here, um, I can open up uh, patches, for example. And it works perfectly fine. So let's, uh, for example, we want to make a squelch, right? So we open up a filter. Take an LFO maybe. I can even load these snap-ins as they are separate plugins, but for some reason, or Kilohertz has, has implemented this really well, so you can load up other DLL files that is within the snap-in, um, what you call it, the snap-in environment into Faceplant, so you don't need to use the nano host to host these plugins as well. So I can start creating my patches just as I like. And let's say I'm happy with this. I can save it. Uh, I can either, I can add it into another location or I can just save it right here. And let's say effects, nano host example. And I'm done. Let's try with another plugin. We got, for example, um, Serum. Boom. I can load it in here as well. So yeah, that was all for today, um, thanks for watching.